Chris Brown has been summoned to Paris for a face-to-face -face meeting with the student who accuses him of raping her, legal sources say. The dramatic meeting is set to take at the headquarters of the French capital's judicial police on Tuesday. Legal sources in Paris on Sunday confirmed a report in the Parisian newspaper that the 24-year-old alleged victim, who cannot be named for legal reasons, has provided compelling evidence of an attack. It remains to be seen whether U.S. singer Brown, 30, will make the 5,500-mile journey from his home in Los Angeles. The victim claims she was raped by Brown, his bodyguard, and a third man in the early hours of January 16. She made a detailed complaint to prosecutors about her ordeal inside the star's 19,000-pound suite at the Mandarin Oriental Hotel in Paris, leading to the three men being investigated for aggravated rape and breaking drug laws. They were arrested and held in custody a week later, on January 21, yet, on their release 24 hours later, Brown made immediate plans to return to the USA. He has been summoned to Paris for the face-to-face -face on Tuesday, but is not obliged by law to travel, said an investigating source. The victim has demanded a face-to-face -face meeting with the accused so that can she quiz him about what went on, as is her right. She wants to look him in the eye. Brown and his co-accused have vehemently denied any wrongdoing, and are on unconditional release, without having been charged with anything. They were all given their passports back in January, but their legal status in France can be changed at any time. The victim, a student and occasional actor and model originally from Algeria, in January gave an interview to the Parisian, denying she was an escort girl. This is totally wrong. She said. This world, these drugs, these people, they're not from my world. I came to France for my studies. I obtained two language qualifications and I started theatre classes in September at a prestigious school. The woman was in floods of tears as she said that in agreement with my lawyer she would not discuss specific details of case that could see Brown and the other two men imprisoned. She said she had received online threats, including ones from Brown who called her a liar. Basically, it should have been a beautiful evening, with a star, a famous artist the ex of the singer Rihanna, the woman said. Everyone would have taken that. Brown has admitted large quantities of cocaine were found in his five-star suite but said they were there for a party and nothing to do with me, and denied having sexual relations with the women. Raphael Chish, Brown's French lawyer, said his client and two other men being investigated for rape and drug offenses absolutely deny any wrongdoing. Mr. Chish said he was pursuing a defamation lawsuit against the complainant, and that there was zero DNA or other forensic evidence proving rape. Mr. Chish said in January that his client would continue to cooperate with investigators and will come back if he has to. The complainant is represented by Paris barrister Jean-Marc Desps, and also by American lawyer Gloria Alred who had dealt with a number of high-profile rape cases involving celebrities in America.